Welcome everyone to the Real Beans Cast. I am your host, Matrix Lord Two and Two, and I am with Scott. What's up, Scott? You're muted. Oh, there you are. Okay. Not a. All right. So uh, we just did a cast before talking to how we're who list. There's no Doctor Who news, and, and then, then it drops. Then the mother of all news drops, and I get all this information. And it's like worth videos, basically. It's almost as though like, hey, <laughs> Matrix Lords is, is off, uh, is off. Shh, drop it, drop it, drop it. What? Right. He's doing his walk. Wait 10 minutes into his walk and then drop the I mean, Jesus. Got it. Got it. I, I'm walking. Je- it was like <laughs> Jesus, right? They're spies. They no, got spies. It, listen, and here's the thing. You know how I felt about Chaos and Carter. Yeah. I felt that was real. Which it was. So here's the thing. Like, I did multiple videos because all this stuff was coming out. I was, like, I, I was in the middle of walking. Yeah. And then I'm like, shit. <laughs> I was like, let me get home. Right? So I got home, and I'm, like, trying to write everything down. And I, I don't want to, like, like, when I'm trying to do the video, I don't want it to be where I forget all this stuff because yeah, I don't want to put it all in there. there. Done that. So let me split it up. Like, and I'm going by the paragraphs that are sent to me and going by paragraph, paragraph, paragraph. And I'm like, let me do it this way because, like, I, I don't like to read from a script. I never read from a script. Yeah, same thing. So I, I put the news. I wanted to get it right. So I was like, let me focus each video on the matter at hand. Matter at hand is that Chaos and Cardiff is officially done. And again, this is from major source in the BBC. So yeah. this is golden. So here's the thing. It happened. Someone from his camp, when stuff was going down, leaked it. Mm-hmm. The whole team, because what happened was it did want them getting glossed over and fixed. But then it was out there that what happened. So it was almost like in the heat of the moment, when say say you're fighting with a friend, and the heat of the moment you're cursing each other out, and it gets really, really ugly, right? Maybe words are said, maybe stuff is said, right? But it happens, right? And someone just taking a picture of that moment, but but the moment is still going on. Yeah. So in other words, they were probably pissed off. It's something that happened at, like you said, at the moment. They saw. Right. And no again, these people lo- here, Chip. No, you saw it, this. No, well, his people are loyal, very loyal to him, supposedly. So they didn't like what was going on with the BBC. I guess the person leaked it. Then they, they couldn't find out who it was because the you know person would be sacked probably. So, but supposedly from it. And because the BBC was exposed, they weren't going to, of course, you know, because Mm -hmm. it was already resolved. And then it came out and they'd be like, wow, that was before it was resolved. So they didn't want to acknowledge it at all. Okay. And they don't want to go over people. Right. They didn't want to acknowledge it. They don't want to think whatever. Rio Times went and said shit. They're like, let them just say whatever. Right. Because they already worked it out. But we got like a snippet of what happened before it was worked out. So supposedly, when it was worked out, Chibnall was given more power than Moffat or Russell T. Davis ever had. What exactly that means, I have no idea, but I think it's beyond Doctor Who, okay? Like, we're talking about future after Doctor, like something that was solidified or whatever. Yeah. So, here's the thing. She's here's the thing, regardless of whether you liked series 11 or not, all right. Yeah, ultimately, I think even BBC they're looking at at, a, at like Russell T. Davis's first series, okay. Moffat's mm-hmm. first series, like it's the guy's first series, all right. Like, he, you need to get your feet wet, right? So, Definitely. series 12 is going to be probably way more sophisticated and they got the kinks out supposedly this is supposedly so 
supposedly Series 12 is going to be magnified better, right? But again, Chibno was pissed with, you know, and the whole his whole team was pissed oh, that I, this got out. I can out. imagine. I can imagine. Like, and, like, look, I know you love me and you work for me, but don't fucking say shit, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because again, like, they don't, they they're t- they don't want anything to come out at all. They would be hoping that it makes their uh, make her season fine. or his season look bad. Yeah, right. And and what happened was, from what I understand from the source, that Chibdo was pissed with all the videos coming out because it became like a goddamn shitstorm. Oh hell yeah! Some people were fucking dancing in the streets. It was like Chibs bashing, right? Definitely. And, and that supposedly Moffat warned him, look, you know, it gets to you after a while. Of course people, it does. People hating you, making videos, they want you gone, they want you gone, they want you gone. You got to ignore it. You got to ignore it. You got to do your thing. You got to ignore still it. Think, but still it was wrong on the BBC for not coming out and just saying something, though. They should have said something, but they yeah. didn't say shit. And that's what... And that's what just led even to people to create more and more. But uh, from what uh, it was explained to me. Yeah, but you know what? It was explained to me the mindset of the BBC, because this is coming from someone in the BBC. And it's like, like they see themselves as as like, they have things they want to get done. It's not like they're catering to the fans. They're doing things to get stuff done. Right. And they don't have to mention, they don't have to, for them to comment every single thing, every single time. No, they didn't have to. Do no, that. I know, but they could have at least they... came out and said, "We've got information coming soon. Please hold on." They could have at least done that. From what from what it was said, it, it, I'm going to try to try to get it exactly the way it was said to me. Um, so I don't, don't want to get it wrong. Let's see. Um, says we can't we can't just you know they can't respond to every just because there's, there's a lot of people that they don't just report the news they're just scrumpled. Yeah. so whatever they say is kind of obscured by their personal feelings so there's a lot of hate groups out there for Facebook um, that, you know, and they feel that acknowledging anything will give ammunition to the hate groups mm-hmm. to magnify their agenda, so to speak. So, again, by them not saying anything, they felt that that was a way to put it to rest because they just – it's like not acknowledging a fly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like a gnat. Yeah. But the problem is – then you have fifty nets and a hundred nets, and before you know it, you got a nest, mm-hmm. and you got like you got to take care of the nest, and nobody took care of the nest, and that's what happened. So, worse happened because nothing was mentioned. Okay, but again, this is not a reg- This is a major mother source of all mother sources. This source is from the BBC. <laughs> so, telling me flat out confirmation that. More than ever, Chris Chibnall and Jody Whitaker officially Series 13 without a shadow of a doubt, okay? And the only reason, because the way they, they love her, actually, the yeah. only reason that she wouldn't get a Series 14 is because from Series 11 to Series 12, she's getting noticed. She's getting popular. When she first became the doctor, she's filming when, you know, not that many people, right, you yeah. know, they have to see her performance or whatever, right? And as time goes on, she's going to be a hot commodity. She's going to be somebody that they want to sign for a movie. Could be the MCU, could be Fantastic Four, Ms., you know, Ms. Woman, something. Somebody's going to grab her. It's not, yeah. she's not going to get a, she's not going to get a, She's going to be in a movie herself. Like, it's going to be like, you know, she's not going to, she's going to get big roles. 
Okay, that's gonna happen, and they feel like what Matt Smith too, like Matt Smith the last mm-hmm. in Hollywood. She probably would go, but they at this point in time have no intention of wanting her to go because they, they it, no, it, they, they want to keep her as long as possible right. and prove that their choice of a female for the doctor was their best choice. Now, what happens is he also sent me the article about Radio Times. Radio Times talked about, like Peter Capaldi was talking about, you know, Moffat didn't get enough credit mm-hmm. for writing. Like, he, like, there was writers in there that shouldn't have been writing for Doctor Who. Some people just horrible. Not to, not to embarrass, but Moffat had to step in. And he had to write the whole script for them, or he had to fix the script. So all these, he did a lot more scripts than his own, right? But he didn't get any credit for it. And the reason why, I guess, Radio Times leaked, they, they put this article out, is because of the situation where everybody's complaining about the writing for Series 11, you know, with certain writers. So it's, it's like a thing where, look, sometimes things happen beyond your control. It doesn't work out. But the poor showrunner has to step in and do a lot yeah, more has to than what is expected of them. Right. So... Again, the overall overall consensus is when when you do an, what, Doctor Who, they don't judge series eleven. It's sort of like a pass. Not that anything was I'm not saying from my opinion that anything was wrong with it. Yeah. Although I have my own personal opinion about series eleven. Like they know it's a first series. They know it's it's you know, just like series one. You know, Russell T. Davis's first series to Russell T. Davis's second series and third series. You know what I'm saying? So they're not yeah. going to judge it, like, massively. Now, as as his next series goes on, the series after that, they'll judge it. Um, but, again, you, you can't, like, and there's been some BBC executives, I'm sure, that went overboard because, because the, there's a lot of things with Chip Knowles' series that's different from Moffitt and Russell T. Davis. And the biggest thing that there's more pressure and there's more of a chance of infighting between Chibnall and the BBC is because Chibnall is getting millions from China and HBO Max, and it's a lot of pressure, yeah. and they weren't getting that money before. So that's causing some people to get a little bit, like, paranoid and concerned, and where they wouldn't bother Moffat or Russell T. Davis, they weren't getting millions like they're getting now, okay? This is this is a thing why it's unique, and there is situations where, like the Star, was a Starburst article last year? Yeah. Where Chris Chibnall almost walked and Jody almost walked? Last year, right? So, yep. now there was a situation now, okay, but Again, it was solved, but by the time the thing came out, it was like you didn't watch the full movie. No, you did. Okay. And again, their 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 way of 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 like trying to you'll probably have here's the thing. There will probably be a magazine article like last year, like Starburst, where they'll explain it. But right now it's not in the cards. So there is truth to the chaos in Cardiff, but whatever happened was so smoothed it over yeah. that Chibnall was given more power. Again, so I wonder if this is gonna. So I wonder if this is going to uh, hurt the HBO Max though, since they're staying a little bit longer. No, see, I don't think the main thing right now is that I don't. First of all, they wouldn't give him more power. Yeah. For no reason. Like, I, I don't think they're in... I don't know about the reports about the lawsuits. Like, that might be true. That might not be true. I didn't ask. But overall, Chibnall and Jody are definitely in Series 13. Okay? The only thing that I could not get out of my source was um, the companion situation. Yeah. 
is Bradley Walsh, is Mandip Gill, is Toss and Cole staying or not? Now, I, I you know, it, it's weird because you, if he gives me too much stuff, then it's going to be obvious that I'm getting it from him. Yeah. You know? So he's not really giving me anything. Uh, like, he's you know, just giving you enough to wet your whistle and so they don't know that he's given probably, information. Probably. But so the thing is – Another reason – now, again, there is a thing now, now, probably just recently put in place that – because of all the infighting with, with that, that he may have an option to leave after Series 13. Before, it was a five-year contract for Chibnall. Yeah. Jody had, you know, like it's been reported, first time ever she got three, three years, whatever, right? Yeah. Chibnall has five years. So that would have meant that Chibnall would have ushered in another doctor. Pretty much, right? And again, one of the reasons why he will not leave and does not want to leave, he wants to stay to the end, is because he gets the glory and the honor to write the yep. 60th anniversary special. Which, that is like a crowning achievement because you're the one that, you're the church, just imagine this for a second. Mm-hmm. With all the hate going on, right? Just let's let's have a hypothetical, and I'm I'm going to talk to the fans also that are against me, and are against Chib against Jody and Chibno. I was I didn't like Chibno, but like my my source is trying to show me how Chibno, you know, like a different thing, like to be on his side. I'm I'm just my own way still, but the thing is, right? You just picture all the people hating on Chibno now. Right. And again, I'm not a hater. I just don't like what he's doing. Right. Picture that he does and delivers yep. something that people have always wanted. Just hypothetically speaking, he starts putting stuff in the episodes like you've always wanted. Like, let's just say something happens. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Say all of a sudden the doctor's with Susan. Yeah. He'd be like, oh my God. Like, that would be credited for Right. That. He'd be like, he did that, right? Say Ian Chesterton. Oh, what? Right? He quite possibly may be the showrunner that pieces the ways to get Eccleson in there with David Tennant, Matt Smith, and other, and Peter other, Capaldi, and other, Cody uh, Whitaker. Yeah, and be able I'm to talking see. new who. I'm talking new yeah. who. Now, if he goes beyond that, and if he gets Paul McGann and the classic doctors, wow. Or even all those uh, aliens and monsters that were licensed, which they couldn't, which uh, Chibnall and, I mean, that uh, right. Moffat and Davies right. couldn't. Right, yeah. like, wow. If he's able to get a big, I'm saying hypothetically, please, yeah. okay? I'm not saying this is it. If he's able to get all these doctors together, and then the rumor that have masters also, and like mm-hmm. that, see that's like fan fiction. That's like Doctor Who fan, like yeah. have all doctors and all masters. That's like a battle world thing that you would love, but it would never happen. But like, if he gets this done, and this is his last act with Doctor Who, this will cement him in history and change the opinion of some fans with him. Especially if he proves himself with Series 12. Yeah. If he does, like, if he knocks it up, like, my thing was, and remember I was telling you, I personally wanted him to throw the kitchen sink at Jody. When I say that phrase, I say that phrase, that phrase means that you have a new doctor, you throw every villain at her, her greatest foe is everything, Right, he's re- newly gener- regenerated. I, I, and they could have, something could have happened to where word had gotten out, and one of her villains came in thinking, "Well, they've re- she's he's re- newly regenerated. His mind is still buzzing and fuzzy. Like maybe they feel she's soft because t- she's a woman. One up over him. Right? Maybe she they feel she's soft because she's a woman, so they all decide yeah, to attack. Right? It. But I felt because he went too light into it, he ruined the whole. Like the beginning of the race, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't run when when the buzzer went off. So now it's harder 
to, to get that momentum. Not impossible. It's harder. And all of a sudden, when you're doing a 180, right? And all of a sudden, you have, we hear Daleks. We hear Cybermen. We hear Master. We have Sea Devils. We have Jadu. Now, of course, not all these monsters are up here. That's impossible. No way. I don't, like, I want Sea Devils. Am I going to see Sea Devils? Probably not. I don't know. Am I going to see the Master? Probably not. Yeah. I mean, but if it does happen, I'd be surprised. But then again, if it does happen, Scott, what is that? The kitchen sink. Definitely. Right? And then the next factor would be new companions because you want a yeah. fresh thing, right? And like I said, get away from modern day. That, right. is, that, is, that has gotten so old and contrived that it's, pretty, it's basically bringing down the series in my book. Like what if they did a thing, remember Chameleon? Yeah. What if she, they do a thing where she wants to build her own like robot that like she's tired of like, like, you know, companions dying, but she wants to build her own robot, like her own, like someone that's actually like, like will pass as a human, right? Yeah. Like she wants to build her own Android, her own whatever. And that's the companion. Imagine that if they do that or something, mm -hmm. that would be unique. But they we had a character. I forget the name off the top of my head. I'm gonna have to look it up. They had an android similar. She didn't build. He didn't build her, but they did have like an android type of thing uh, in the fa in uh, the Missing Adventures, if I remember right. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna have to look that name up. It was a girl, but I don't. But they did have that. See now, as much as my source had told me tonight, right? Of course, my opinion is still like not completely changed you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm not trying i'm trying to be genuine here i'm not i'm not gonna be like oh chris chump no yeah! you know like i'm not gonna dance around and be like i love chris chump no no yeah. no no i don't like chris chump though but that doesn't mean i hate like yeah. i'm gonna be a hater it just i don't like chris chump i don't like what he does i don't just oh like I just want you know what I'm saying, but I like Jody Whitaker. But yeah, so he has this freaking thing about Christmas specials. This guy, like, they really want one, and he just won't give it to us. It's like, oh my god, what is? Did you get like a coal in your stocking when I you know. were a kid? Like, why can't you just give us a damn Christmas special? What is the problem? So, I know that's getting old. That's that's stupid. But right, so if they can give, if they want us, this is what I wish they do: give us a Christmas special one year, give us a New Year's one another year, right. or do it twice in the same uh, time, where part one is in one, part two is in another. Whether you start in the new, whether you start in the Christmas one, and go to the New Year's, or vice versa, that would yeah. be awesome. See, the funny thing was the thing people could ask me is <laughs> the way my source said it. He's like. We wanted a Christmas special. He doesn't want to give it. He has say. He, it's pro he wants it to be a New Year's Day special. But don't think that way yet because, like, they're still trying. <laughs> they're still trying to, like, get him to F and budge, you know? So he doesn't want me to, like, just all of a sudden be like, oh, the Christmas special's canceled, you know? Like, he says it could change. Like, they're really trying so hard. But he's just not – he's not budget, man. He's, like, planting himself down, glued to the floor, probably banging – no! New Year's! It's like, damn. Now, maybe – listen, maybe they want a Christmas special so bad because maybe it would help out if stuff was going wrong with a lawsuit. Yeah. There's another episode out there for two, two for 2019. Maybe. But – I don't know behind that. See, he's not going to tell me everything, obviously. Because no one's going to give everything to somebody, and then they'd be like, what the F? How did you get all this shit? You know? I felt that the stuff that I got is not, it's tame. Yeah. It's not really anything that you could jump home about. Some people would say different, though. Okay? The fact that 100% Confirmed that like Jody and, and and Chibs are in series thirteen. To me, that that is big because, but they are on the contract, so it's 
Is it really That's big? That's true. You know, it, it, is it really big no. news? Probably not. I mean, just exception of, of chaos and card. If we were all like, oh, they're gone. What the f? Right? Yeah. Um, what else did he tell me? That of course, Chibnall, his five-year plan, he would be around for the sixtieth. So that's not crazy, you know, news. If he stays, he does it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Um, and that's one of the factors he wants to stay, of course, because he wants to do it. So he's dealing with all the bullshit. Yeah. Once um, again, prove it. Hey, look at this. They brought me in. Granted, my first season may have not been one hundred percent, but I managed to pull it out, uh, improve it by the second or third season or my closing season. Now, I think the, the, the Her Universe thing, that's a mistake. Whatever, that, whoever, they need to get rid of that. Whoever's behind that, I mean, because he's telling me Doc 2 is for everyone. It's like, yeah. really? Like, that's, yeah. Somebody needs to change that marketing. That Real whole, quick. And they yeah. need to start marketing things for guys as well. Right. So, so that's that's pretty much what else was we talking about. Um, yeah, and common sense – Without, even though he did tell me, common sense though, if if Chibnall was fired, right, he wouldn't have say if there's a Christmas special or not. Yeah. So, by the simple fact, even without him telling me, but he did tell me, like, he has say, he's still there. He's mm -hmm. still the showrunner. You know, all this crap about, look, and here's the thing I'm not, I'm not battling. Any Whovians, right? Please don't think that. I'm not – listen, there's people that are way more subscribers than I do. I don't even count that as subscribers because, again, I've been here around here for eight years almost. So I don't look at it like, oh, people are above me because they have more subscribers, right? Yeah. I mean, we've been doing this thing for a while, and I don't think I'm above anybody else. I just like no, it that everybody's not. doing – I like, I, like that, I like that everybody does videos, right? But the thing is, is that, like – there's a difference between hating something and there's a difference between how you present yourself when you're doing these guests. Okay. When I, when we first heard about the doctor becoming a woman and Jody, I lost my shit. Uh, yeah. I cursed. I lost my shit. And then I, 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 I looked at, I looked at the situation. Like, cause remember I had a couple hours. I had to really right. I couldn't even do a video I had to write. And I'm saying, like, you know, it's not about you. Like, to myself. You know? I'm responsible for, like, seven, eight freaking Facebook pages. Right? Yeah. People love Doctor Who. They don't have to have the same opinion as me. Remember because I was saying, I'm going to take down all the Doctor Who page? I was mad. Remember that? Yeah. How, how can I do that? That's not. That's selfish. I'm not a selfish person. That's not the person I want to be. I don't want to be a selfish person. I don't want to be whatever. I don't want to be like my opinion is better than yours. So I'm like, no. So as much as I effing hated it, I put her pictures everywhere because I have responsibility to the fans that love Doctor Who. They love her. They love her. That's it. I'm doing. If I don't, if I don't want to do the page anymore, I don't page anymore. Give it to someone else that I created. But the thing is, and it wasn't all pages that I created. It was pages that. I'm also, I was hired to do like, you know, there's some like, you know, scribe had created. So like, but like, of course you gotta, you gotta like, it's the doctor, whatever doctor's the doctor, you gotta promote. Yeah. It. So the hell with my opinion, honestly. And, and that's why I looked at myself that way and I'm like, yeah, man, you gotta grow up. Like to myself, like, you can't be like that. You can't like be a baby about it. You gotta like, leave, you gotta like promote the doctor. And if you don't agree with it, just like the real means cast. No, we no. have different opinions. Scott may not agree with me all the time, but that's the point that makes the show great. Yeah. It, 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 gets, like, it's, it's just, it, it gets dull if it's like, oh, yeah, right. wow, that is cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, And, and the caster is saying the same word. It, you, you basically could just have the caster standing there and just doing everything by themselves. Yeah. That's so, I mean, doing. that's the thing is like, you know, we, we learn and we evolve. And, and, of course, we have – relapses sometimes but like when i had when it was our announcement i was pissed i cur you could see it but but it wasn't scott it, and he scott knows it wasn't an immediate light switch mm -hmm. it took and again that year we did probably a thousand 
Like, we did a lot of Real Whole Beans casts, right? I think it took 500 casts or 450 for me to turn and turn to welcome her. Like, remember, it wasn't yeah. easy. It was not. It wasn't like, oh, Major Slaw, that friggin' he jumped. No, it took a long let me tell you something. My subscribers really wanted me to be open-minded about the whole thing. People were sending me links. People were like, oh, go watch this movie she's in. Oh, look at this clip if you're going to watch the movie. Oh, look at this. People really wanted me to, because it wasn't right that I was not accepting a doctor. So people yeah. were really trying to like get me to change my opinion or be open just to other possibilities. And eventually, it was like, okay, what, I think the thing that solidified it the most was when we saw that clip. Yeah. I liked the way she performed. I liked her as the doctor. But before that, it was the, the play with Christopher Eccleston that I really thought, wow, she can act, you know? So, again, I'm not saying that that may never happen again. I'm, I'm sure there might be a situation where I might flip again. But, I mean, it was at the time, it was just, you know, we had other members on here, too, that flipped up. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, I got some Doctor Who stuff today. I don't see it as groundbreaking that much. Maybe the Series 13 thing. I mean, you know they're on the contract. You know he's going to be doing the 60th. That's – what else did we talk about? The Radio Times thing I, I found interesting, that article, um, that, that hit. Wonderful timing, too. You know what I'm saying? It's like – Got all this info. Bring your time. Popped out. Right? So, what else did I talk about today? I just want to go over my videos. Um, oh, thank you guys. 1,500 subscribers. Really happy about that. Finally. Jesus. It took forever. I felt like, you know, for a while, like our videos, you know, it's like, it just, like, we're staying the same for a long, long time. Um... So rest in peace, Cass and Cardiff. Oh, so, oh yeah, that's what I want to talk about too. The Titan comic situation. Okay. Here's the thing. Just like Marvel Comics and Disney, right, and all this stuff. If there's going to be a groundbreaking news announcement, like there's not going to be a Christmas special, right, that's 100% accurate. Of course, Doctor Who magazine rightfully would be covering that there's no Christmas special or Radio Times, their unofficial spokesperson, right? Right, Scott? 100%. But for Titan Comics to announce that there's no Doctor Who Christmas special? Yeah. 100% certainty? When I'm getting conflicting reports that that still may happen, like they're still trying to change his mind, they just talked out of turn. They're like, hey, there's not going to be a Christmas special. Nah, come get our comic. See, that's wrong, though. That's wrong, because they don't know that. And I don't care. Like, you're not going to tell me anything otherwise, because I was told already. Like, they don't, they don't, they don't know. They don't know. So, please. I, I'm not saying anything bad against Titan, but that was a bad, that was a bad thing. Um, oh, yeah, one thing I didn't know. He's saying that the uh, the Cyberman episode's a holiday special. A what? Like this? That's a special they're filming, not an episode. Like the okay. the Cyberman, like the one that they're filming now. Supposedly that's the ho a holiday special. When reason why he's calling it a holiday special is because it's still getting to be a Christmas special, but it's not. And he's going to be doing a New Year's Day special, so they don't know what to call it. So right now, until we decide whether it's a Christmas special or a New Year's Day special, it's a holiday special. Um, so, again, I wasn't expecting that at all because I didn't know that. Um, I mean, that's what, that's what he said. Uh, what else? Yeah, so he's still the showrunner. Chaos and Cardiff is over. Um, uh, companion, yeah, the, the companions, we have no idea. Either they do have idea, they don't want to say anything. So, and again, they could still be companions. They all could be the record for the longest running companions if they stay another year. Who knows? I have no information on the companions at all. So, I think that's it, Scott. What are you doing? You're writing a book? <laughs> oh, 
chat yeah. back and forth on that uh, totally 70s channel. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, guys. So that's, Yeah, I've got it muted, so you don't hear music in the background. Well, that's okay. So uh, you got a real Wolverine's cast today, um, but the, there's other stuff to talk about other than Doctor Who. So, yes. you know, got your way. Yeah, we've got no more knowledge up here than uh, than yeah, it's not a, Listen, we talk about a lot. Of, look, I love Doctor Who. I love talking about this. Other stuff to talk about tonight, too, though. So unless we can get more stuff. But please subscribe. Please like. Comments away, baby. All right. 1,500, finally, Scott. We did it. Sweet. Take care. Bye for now.